Welcome to this NVMet Playground Explainer video. My name is Leonard Schastedt and I'm a Customer Success Specialist for NVMet from OneClick LCA. In this video, I will guide you through the NVMet Playground, explain you what the Playground is, and we will especially have a look at this Playground guide that comes with the content package. I said it already, so the Playground is a content package that is filled with essentially NVMet simulation data, so it comes with the simulation data for two different scenarios that we will have a quick look at in a second. And then it also comes with this playground guide, which contains these three different chapters. So uh, in the first chapter, we will have a, a little introduction into the playground. Then we will talk about some theoretical stuff and thermal comfort indices. And then we will have a look at simulation data uh, and we will basically look at some typical microclimate phenomena that we can observe in spaces. So as I already said, the playground is a content package. As it's stated here, we provide you the full project data for NVMet simulations. So we provide you the project database for the simulations. We provide two model area files, two simulation settings files, and also of course the forcing file for the meteorology of the simulation. You can edit everything that you like. So you can build your own stuff into the model area. You can delete everything if you like. You can also tweak some simulation settings, but and this is the, the, the good thing. You don't have to perform your own simulations because we are also providing you full set of simulation data so that you can directly dive into the data analysis if you like. If you need help with any of the tools, with any of the functions of the tools, then you can always watch our tutorial videos on YouTube, or you can visit our NVMet Academy course in the OneClick LCA Academy, and this will provide you with all the training that you will need to be successful in this little uh, playground scenario. We will present some data in this guide, and if you want to have a look at the same data as we do in this uh, guide document, then we always provide you this file path here, so you can always find the data that we are looking at if you like. Looking at the different scenarios, we have a status quo scenario. As you can see, it contains buildings of different materials, different surfaces. For example, this asphalt street here, we have some unsealed soils here as well, some concrete soils and also some vegetated soils. And we have some trees standing here and so on and so on. A little pool, for example, as well. And uh, yeah, this is our status quo scenario. And then we also have a optimized scenario. So we have implemented some measures to see the impacts of these. So for example, we increased the vegetation cover. We have unsealed some more soils and vegetated them. And for example, we have also applied some shading sails into these street canyons here. Now in this second chapter, we are having a look at thermal comfort indices. Basically, we are explaining why they are very important when we want to assess the human perception of heat, why they are better than uh, just looking at air temperature. This is all explained here in this text and maybe also in this little picture here. And then we give you an example where we, ex uh, where we, we are comparing the potential air temperature with a thermal comfort index, such as the physiological equivalent temperature. And here we can see uh, yeah, the differences and why it is important to have a look at not only air temperature, but also these thermal comfort indices. So everything is explained here. We won't go into detail about that now, but then we go into the third chapter where we have a look at some different microclimate phenomena. And also we will have a look at the impacts of different heat mitigation measures. Here, for example, we are comparing the two scenarios and yeah, what, what impact, for example, it has to increase the vegetation cover by planting some more trees. And then we can also, for example, see the impact of shading sails and how they increase the thermal comfort. Our measures that we apply are always color coded. So yeah, you can always see exactly what we're implementing uh, and where we are implementing it. Here we're looking at surface uh, temperatures over day. So for example, at 1 p.m. and at 12 a.m. And then we are comparing these. And here we are, for example, having a look at 
facade temperatures. And you can click through all of this yourself, explore a little bit what we have found out in our simulation. And then maybe if you like, you can also apply your own changes and then see what impact those changes have on the microclimate. All right, so that's it. Basically, maybe we will add some more contents to this playground from time to time. But for now, feel free to do whatever you like. Feel free to test everything out. Be creative. Try to edit your model areas and perform your own simulations if you have the resources for that. Basically, you can do whatever you want. All right, thank you for watching and see you soon.